Welcome to Real Steve TV. I'm Steve. I'll be your host. What up? What up? I'm doing a mic check tonight. Cause I might mic check tonight. <sighs> I'm having gamic problems, dude, and I don't I don't like it. I don't like the way it feels. Um gamically. I've hit a I've hit a wall, dude. So I've been streaming for about three or four months. <clears throat> about four months. And I've been playing uh, classic WoW the whole time. And it finally got to me, bro. And I can't... I don't want to... I can't play it right now. I, I, I'm not saying I'm never going to play it again. I love WoW. It's my favorite game of all time. I'll always love WoW. But dude, that game is just... It's... It's my personality. I, I want to have the best gear. If, if you want the best gear, you have to play a lot, you know? And, uh, uh, you know, and if you want to max out everything and get everything and get all the best stuff and gear and items, dude, you have to play a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And it starts to become, for me, I start to, it starts to feel like a job to me. And then the joy gets taken out of it. Tonight on the agenda, dude, is as the thingy says, oh, I forgot to change a title, no big. But as the title here, there's two places I have to put in the title, so I get confused. But free demos as I look for new enjoyment. It sounds like something Borat would say. Free demos as I look for new enjoyment. I can't just dabble in WoW. Like, it's, it doesn't work that way for me. Some people are like, well, then don't go for the best gear and just chill and level at your own pace and all that. And maybe, I, maybe I'll try to do that, but it's like I can't. And that sucks. But that's just, that's me. Archmages, I have been so busy with everything going on lately. I really enjoyed your Bible study, and I've been a little curious about how you've been feeling about WoW lately, so I'm happy you cleared the air a bit. Never force yourself to do anything you're not enjoying. It'll only get worse. I mean, here's my philosophy, and it's not like I'm a huge streamer or anything and have a ton of followers to where, like, they know me as just a WoW guy. And I do have a... Uh, a humble and small group of people that follow me and, and interact with me and I'm so grateful for that. I, I've only streamed WoW pretty much and then some Bible uh, studies or Bible commentary type videos and then a social commentary here too but really it's been mostly WoW you know and I guess now is a, as good a time to I'm coming out dude I'm a variety streamer I'm a variety, dude, I can't, the, the real Steve cannot be boxed into a thing, you know? I'll probably go back to WoW because I love WoW, but I don't know. Maybe I won't. Archmages, it's really good to keep things fresh. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's where I'm at, you know? <clears throat> um, my theory is if you're recording this to, to put on a stream or to, to make YouTube videos, this is because of joy and love and passion for video games. Though I'm, I'm thinking of other things. Well, as you know, I also do my Bible studies. I'm most passionate about the Lord, of course. So like, that's going to be part of what I, my content, but I guess I'm just the type of guy who I, I'm so varied. I have more than one interest, you know, and I can't just stream. Wow. Um, I can't just stream one thing, period. So again, Bible study, video games, and then I'm even I'm even thinking about social commentary type stuff. And I'm still waiting to drop my documentary that I haven't dropped. Um, dude, I have had no word from Andrew Callahan or his company or his channel. They haven't done any updates, which I'm really kind of disappointed in because he posed this challenge to his audience about a month ago. And then no update, no like, hasn't even dropped a video like all he has to drop is like a minute long video explaining where they're at if they've received the submissions if they're going through them if they've picked the finalists you know whatever i'm i'm disappointed not even to get any update of what's going on with those videos that he asked his 2.4 million followers to submit it would be nice to have a confirmation of like hey guys we're just swamped you know what i mean we got 10,000 submissions i i don't know how many people out of his 2.4 million followers um did the video but i i assume a lot 
you know and i don't know anything about andrew or his team i mean i don't think he has like a gigantic team of people so imagine if they even got i don't know a thousand videos a hundred videos i mean that's a lot of videos to look through so whatever dude i'm letting it go i'm gonna let it go i'm not gonna cry on my stream if that's what you guys are asking no i'm not not tonight i cried on my stream the other night it's all good and i'm sure he's a busy guy like all of us are in life so no no shade or anything andrew callahan if you're watching this but it would be appreciated to even get some word of an update or what's going on because i'm probably going to give it another two weeks about so that would be a month and if i haven't heard anything from andrew callahan's team or his channel then i'm just going to drop my little doc on my channel on its own archmagus i am high fantasy through and through and for me there's so much in wow that i missed in the last 15 years that i have so much content i can generate from my first time perspective i mean right a game that's been out 19 20 years unless you dude imagine one guy i met online playing wow claimed he's played all 20 years and like every version everything that comes out and i'm almost like i mean that's cool i mean if you enjoy it like bald man riz said if you enjoy it and that's your thing then do it you know but i'm like dude 20 years of the same like game in its evolutions it's that's dude wow's just crazy okay we have demos lined up um i'm just not nothing's really calling me um that hell riser game or hell yeah hell risers that game looks pretty sick actually the graphics and the gameplay it looks like a cool third person shooter so that i might dabble with we'll see but um as of tonight yeah yeah hell divers 2 there you go hell diversity 2 it's a office sim archmages i play hell divers 1 and it's super fun okay nice so we have some first-hand knowledge of that game um is it super in depth or is it just more like call of duty shoot em up or is there an rpg element to it i mean i it looks like it's just pretty much a shoot em up and it looks cool it looks like a good shoot em up and i like i like f I like uh, first-person shooters, and I like third-person shooters. And that's getting back to what I was talking about. I'm just a diverse guy. I like all kinds of games. I really do. So now it's a good time early in my experience as a small-time streamer to, like, lean into the variety and not get pinned into the WoW guy. Like I said, it's better to do this now opposed to, let's say, <clears throat> let's say I did get a big following and then switch it up on people that could be a lot more shocking to my viewers plus then you risk losing viewers as a content creator um i hope i don't lose any of the viewers that come and watch me because i've had so much fun with the people i've met and that's the other thing guys the most fun experience of all this for me is the interaction with people um i love games and gaming but having the mic trying to entertain i guess is what it is to some degree i'm trying to be an entertainer of sorts right because i'm not the most skilled gamer by any means so it's not like people are going to be drawn to me because i'm like so good at games and i think the average like the majority of streamers it is be because of their personality and people just want to see them and hear them and and feel like connected to them i guess that's how i view most streamers and I think the percentage of streamers that are watched because of their actual skill level, because they might be like pro level or they might be ranked, you know what I mean? Those guys can like get away with like just sitting there and playing because they're so good and people are actually watching them to see like their their techniques, their tactics, their style, how they play. Um, and that's cool. But I don't think like the majority of streamers, that's what's going on, you know? um archmages i for me am totally cool with being a warcraft guy because i personally want to lean into a specialty especially when i'm so interested in the specific universe see and that's and that's cool i think that's awesome um but i'm not like drawn into the lore you know of wow it kind of doesn't interest me and i i think it's for me because it's like a lot it's overwhelming almost and i i get like wow this story is so big and it doesn't appeal to me but i totally and it's same with you arc and i totally get 
that you know why you would like it because the lore is so deep i i totally get why someone's like no i'm really into the lore and i love like learning about the world and and the lore of it, it i i i'm not against it it just doesn't draw me um it's weird like for for most of my life for most of my life i've lived several um for most of my life i haven't trying to think for most of my life i haven't cared about the story of games really to be honest which is crazy um and as the years have gone on let's face it the stories have gotten better in games you know like in the very beginning of gaming there wasn't even stories like really usually and if there were they were very like light you know there was an in-depth now some games are more even based on story um I really liked Elden Ring, the, which one? Not Elden Ring, um, Dark Souls 3 was like the first time I appreciated story. And now I'm gonna say this with a grain of salt, that game isn't really a straight linear story though. Dark Souls 3, it's almost like snippets, like Quentin Tarantino style, just a bunch of these snippets that you're putting together. So like the story's kind of vague. Um, but like the voice acting in Dark Souls 3 and the ambiance of that game, that was the first time I felt like, oh, I see why people like story, which is like, that game wasn't that long ago. That was like five years ago, you know? Um, and I've never appreciated um, story. And again, I think it's my personality. I'm like, dude, what, what's the controls? What do you, what does A do? What does B do? Let me get it, let me jump in, dude. I'm very like high energy, high strung guy. And I always was like, I'm not, I didn't buy this to watch a story, dude. I, you know what I mean? I'll watch a movie if I want to see a story. Um, but that's not to say some of these modern games have amazing stories. Leaflet, I saw your existential YouTube video today. Don't get burnt. Keep the traction. Well, we're, we're going to get into some action and traction. Thank you, Leaflet. But, dude, wow. It's just wow. It's just wow has gotten to me. I love games. I love gaming. But we've got some ideas. You know what I mean? Leaflet knows me personally. He knows I'm a creative guy. Um, art and creativity is my toy box. And dude, your boy just can't get pinned down to the world of Warcrafted. That's it. And that's me. And that's that's it. Digging into the tool shed here and coming up with some new fresh kicks, dude. By the way, your shot gets blocked by the chat screen when it's in the top right. No. They're good to know. Somebody that I used to know. Yeah. Hey, and welcome. Welcome to Dean TV. Coming live from Studios TV. Do you hear the sultriness of that, dude? I'm like Nat King Cole, dude. I feel like Nat King Cold right now. My favorite part about all this is the talking. It really doesn't matter what game I'm playing, how intensely I'm playing it. You know what the actual... For me, as the content creator, I love talking to you guys. Archmage, spread your wings. Jesus wants you to be open with who you are and show your talents to the world, too. Thank you, Archmage. Archmage, that's so nice of you to say, bro. Because um, I'm going to just be real with you guys, bro. And I think we all do. Every human does. But I struggle with insecurity. And I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. Who cares? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, dude. The, dude. And it's a lie from the devil. And that goes for me, too, bro. And that goes for you guys, too. Jesus loves you. He loved us enough to do what he did for us, to save us. We are worthy to him. Like, we were worthy to a loving, perfect, holy God. So, like, we can live in that. Like, dude, on my darkest day, somebody loves me, bro. On my darkest day, I was worthy enough to somebody, bro. A man carried the burdens of my sin on his back and was willing to die for me. Like, think about it. The day he died, because he was God, he had every one of us on his mind. Dude, you're listening to the real smooth sounds of Jazzy. Real Steve TV.